Hi everyone and welcome back to my newest video. This is the Brecon, the Crockett and Jones Brecon boot and um, I'd like to give you some information on my experience with them. I've had these, these are the newest uh, shoe, this is the newest boot in my collection. I've had this boot now for just over a year and I always like to wear them a little bit around and let them break in and get some experience with them before I share that with you. Uh, instead of just doing a, let's say, an unboxing or something like that. And this shoe itself, maybe just really quickly some information on it. It's called Brecon. Brecon because, as you probably know, Crockett and Jones like to give their models names of villages or towns in and around Great Britain. And Brecon is a place in Wales, actually, and it's a very rural area. I've never been, I have to say, um, although I do know the Brecon Beacons. That's, that is something that I have heard of before, and those are, that's some kind of a mountain range down there in Wales where the, the army, the British army, have their training ground. So um, very rural, quite rugged, and uh, that's why they, they, they made this shoe, which although it is fairly rugged for a Crockett and Jones, it's uh, a, classified as a country boot, country chucker boot, I wouldn't recommend wearing this in the mountains, it's in the Brecon Beacons. But you could wear them around town or villages or more sort of rural villages, and you can definitely wear them in more increment weather. You can wear them in rain, which is what I got them for. Not so much in snow, I probably wouldn't wear them in snow, but they're great for wearing in more, like I said, more sort of increment weather. And uh, just due to the, the leather itself, rugged um, scotch grain or country grain, and a nice storm welt uh, and, and the denet leather, uh, denet rubber soles, so they'll keep your feet nice and dry. Um, I bought these because since COVID, I don't really wear my suits anymore to work. Uh, I haven't really worn a suit other than to a wedding, and that's really a shame because also a lot of my shoes are more of sort of casual, or not casual, they're dress shoes formal wear and I don't really wear them very much anymore so I wanted to buy a new pair of shoes which I could wear to work for example more sort of casual wear but also on weekends let's say for with my jeans you know or any sort of casual shoes and these go quite well with those as well obviously they're not massively casual but they're not massively formal either they're quite versatile in that sense they're a very simple chucker boot they're very straightforward there's nothing special design wise about, about them these are on the, oh God, I should have checked this before. I actually can't remember the name of the last, but um, there are last that I haven't had before. Um, I think the same last that are on the, that they use for the Sydney loafer, which um, I found quite interesting. It's quite wide. It's more, it's, it's wider than the 348 last and they're very comfortable. I found they, they, they're quite comfortable right off the, right off out of the box. Um, some information on these. So as I said, I got these for wearing in sort of wet weather. When I when I travel and when I go to work and on weekends, I like to wear these when I know it's gonna rain because I used to wear my, my, my uh, Sky 3 boots that I've also reviewed before, but because of the leather, it's lighter leather and also because it's uh, uh, just the, the standard calf leather, which is a beautiful leather, but it does stain when it rains on it. And um, that's something that uh, I was very aware of. Also, which is really interesting, I used the Safia um, Renovateur or Renovator for, the, for all of my issues with the standard sort of calf leather. Um, as well as the Sky 3 boots. And pretty much for all shoes that I that I wear and I, and I use the Renovateur, whenever it does rain or I am caught in rain, they stain and there's, they leave sort of a white uh, residual matter, I guess. Um, and that's really not particularly nice to look at. It's not a big deal when you get home and you dry the shoes off, uh, you can sort of wipe it down and it goes away and then give them a new, you know, a new light coating of the Renovateur. To, to make the, the leather nice and supple again. But it's something that, funnily enough, I've never heard anybody complain about before. Uh, this product is really hyped up and it's, uh, and for good reason, I, I like the way the leather feels afterwards. It makes it very supple. But like I said, if you're in rain and have used this product, um, to me, any for me anyway, it, it really, it's, it's not particularly nice to look at because it does give that, that white uh, residual um, matter on, on the shoe. So let me know if you've, any of you have had that experience as well.
So that's also the reason why I got these, and I don't use the Renovateur on it. I use this, which is a leather grease, a very simple leather grease, leather fat, which I give a, uh, a very light coating every now and again to nourish the leather and make it also nice and supple. And the water really, the rain sort of pearls off. It's really perfect for this kind of boot. And I love wearing it whenever I know, like I said, it's gonna rain or it could rain in the, the colder months. And I have to say, as always, you know, this shoe is really, it's really comfortable. It's, it's, there's, it's nice and roomy for my fairly wide feet. This is a nine and a half E, so again, very standard width. And nine and a half is my standard size with Crockett and Jones. So, you know, I, I really can't complain there. Everything is, is uh, as, as I'm, I'm very much used to with Crockett and Jones. And yeah, if you like these shoes, like I said, uh, I can definitely recommend them if they are your sort of style. You like the minimalist kind of look, nothing too, too fancy to look at. Although you can, as always, tell the quality when looking at these shoes. They're, they're, um, I really enjoy wearing them. And like I said, if you do, you know, try to try to maybe try out a different product other than the, the Renovateur for this kind of leather, if you're if you're gonna wear these in, 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 in wet, wet, wet weather and, and sort of rain in winter. All right, well, thank you very much. That's it, thanks for all for watching. And I look forward to uh, seeing you again all quite soon. Bye-bye.